So I'm on my way right now to pick up Dan Mullen from Bedrock Real Estate. I'm looking forward to driving him around town for a little bit this afternoon. I'm excited to talk with him because he's heavily involved with the, the real estate development and bringing in a ton of amazing retailers and businesses to um, our growing downtown city in Detroit. So it should be interesting to see you know, and learn about some of his go-to places and get his take on just the growth of uh, Detroit right now. So I'm just pulling up. So hi, Dan. Hey, Mullen. what's up? <laughs> How's How your you? day? Oh, it's great. It's a little rainy out, but uh, a little gloomy. You know, thanks for picking me up. Yeah, well, thanks for letting me uh, drive you around town. I know you're a busy man, so there's a lot going on in the city, and you're a huge part of everything that's going on. And I'm curious to know kind of what your exact role is, and um, can you tell us a little bit more about yeah, what you do? Yeah, for sure. You okay. know, we. Um, uh, my focus is on the, implementing the vision for our real estate. So I focus on the ground up construction, I focus on the rehabs, I focus on leasing, marketing, sales, um, uh, public relations, art, and so I work a lot on the front half of the business, uh, a lot of the visual stuff uh, and how it applies to construction and development and all of that and all encompassing. So we obviously have a really big team. Um, and uh, it's just really exciting part of time to be here. I mean, you see like things like Under Armour and Nike and the Hudson site, and so I've had my fingerprints on on all of that stuff, and uh, it's just been it's just been great. Yeah, it's definitely an exciting time for the city, yeah. and you know, congratulations on everything that's going on. Um, what are some of like your go-to spots? You know, like from coffee and lunch. What's what do you yeah. love to do? Well. Um, you know, I have a lot of them, but uh, as far as coffee, I love going to Ash Supply. It's just a great craft coffee and a uh, great experience, and so it's so fun to go there uh, and just do some work and kind of get your mind focused on some of your projects. It's just a great environment. Tell me about, like, what you love about your job. You know, I love so many things. I love the people. I love my team. Um, I love working in the city of Detroit. I love the Detroiters and the culture of the city. Um, but I also love the creativity. I mean, I get to work on some of the most fascinating projects, uh, to me, that you, anyone could ever dream of working on. From ground up developments and rehab of old historic properties. Um, the uh, Q line is, is the mass transportation is driving by, you know. And so I'm just, I'm so, you know, grateful to wake up every single morning and be able to, uh, to make a difference and, and to really create experiences through real estate and yeah. so experiences and jobs and just making people smile through real estate and it's tangible you can actually watch it happen you can watch things be redeveloped yeah and it's it's so interesting because it's like and it's it's Detroit's like nowhere else in the world right now because you know all these other major cities that are around like they have their establishment yeah. and I feel like what you guys are doing and what we're all doing is like reestablishing this beautiful and amazing city. Exactly, you know, you're 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 bringing many projects back to life. Um, the head set vacant for you know 50, 60 years. These yeah. buildings were literally beautiful gems of properties, just with unbelievable interiors and columns and ornate details and trestle floors and set vacant. And so we're bringing them back to life, and uh, and, and it's just incredible to yeah. see the difference. So. New developments. Can you share like any new stores that just opened? Yeah. Or businesses that are coming. You know, we have us? so much, so many new things happening. We have the Shinola Hotel, which is a 130 room hotel with the Shinola experience carried over to a, a hotel. There's going to be like a lobby lounge hangout. You know, lobby bar. There's going to be a noodle. You know, a noodle bar in the in the alley. There's going to be a beer garden. I mean, the whole experience is just going to be pretty incredible. That's just and so hospitality right. is another wave that Detroit needs. You know, we need cool places to hang and and places to stay. Yeah, absolutely. So now we're going to go um, check out WeWork, right? Yeah. You got to yeah. go check in on them. WeWork's uh, an amazing concept. You know, you you can rent a desk or you can rent an office, and ever and and there are shared services and. It's one of the fastest growing companies in the United States, if not the world right now. It's so, an ideal place for like an, entre an entrepreneur, it's, it's a small an entrepreneur business owner. 
No um, question about it. You know, I think that, like, so you've got some big businesses moving in downtown, but, like, the smaller guy may not be able to afford, you know, an office space down here. So WeWork is, like, that's the solution, yep, right? Yeah, you go to WeWork, you either rent a desk, rent a few desks, or a section of it, um, because, you know, you get to hang out in a beautiful environment. They have beer on tap all the time. I mean, <laughs> and, and a ton of resources. So can you tell me some of the other, I mean, you know me, I'm in fashion. and Yeah. Um... Tell me some of the other retailers, fashion retailers that are down here. Well, actually, we're driving by um, Kit and Ace and yeah. Warby Parker in our newest store, which is Bonobos. You know, we had a handful of stores come in. We had Moose Jaw come in, and then um, shortly after that, Barbados decided to, uh, you know, put a stake in the ground here and build a Midwest flagship store. Um, and as you can tell, it's just absolutely beautiful inside. Yeah. And it's in a building that was built in... Uh, the late 1800s, the Wright and K building, and so it had many uses. What do you really love about the city? You know, there's a bunch of things. Um, one, I just love the people. I love the community. I love the foundation of the city, the folks that have been here all their lives and, and the new wave of people coming in. Um, I love the architecture of the city, uh, being in real estate, and uh, I like how Detroit brings people together. And so. You know, we're doing that through real estate, and again, we're creating these little moments of things to do around town to bring social experiences and people together. So, you know, and it's just a, it's just unbelievable to be able to work uh, on these legendary buildings and build new around. And so, it's a combination of the people, uh, the projects, the architecture, and the foundation. When did you know that you wanted to be in real estate? Like, did you always know that was what you wanted to go into? You know, as, as a young kid, I was always fascinated with like building things. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and I worked in the trades for a long time, actually, uh, in construction and framing houses. And so oh. I always loved architecture. I didn't really know it at the time, though, being so young, like what that meant. It was like one of those aha moments where you realize right then and there, like, this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. Um, and I just truly fell in love with it. Okay, now I'm gonna put you on the spot. So you've been driving around with me all afternoon. Who would be one person um, that you would wanna drive around all afternoon? Oh man. <laughs> I would say, you know, I, I, don't know if I don't know if there is a specific name, but what I think would be interesting to do is drive somebody around that has spent their entire life in the city of Detroit and just get their perspective on, um, on what they're thinking. I also think it'd be kind of cool to drive the mayor around for the day and and have the mayor sitting shotgun with me while I hammer him with questions. That would be a good, that's a good one, yeah. for sure. It would be great to have to drive the mayor around and just point things out and discuss uh, topics. Okay. And, and and thirdly, I would like to drive around Rachel's show stack. I would um, love for you to drive me around. <laughs> <laughs> so I can put you on the spot and hammer you with questions. I feel a little bad that I'm not able to ask you questions. Well, it's not about me, so <laughs> no worries there. Um, well, if I could rewind time, yeah, you know, it would driving some of like the. You know, Albert Kahn. It'd be unbelievable right. to be able to like drive Albert Kahn around, or you know, some famous architects. Who's your? Do you have a uh, favorite or an architect of uh, work that you really admire? You know, I I really like Albert Kahn's work. Yeah. Um, I like Maru Yamasaki's work um, with uh, one Woodward. And very different. Very different. Yes. So I don't know. I feel like I have a hundred different styles of architecture I like. <laughs> you know. Well, it's great because with what you do, you get to be exposed to all of that and involved, yeah. which is perfect. What are some unique things about, you know, the city that you, like, just from walking around, if it's right. art or just things people may not know about? You know, there's a lot of artwork, and we're really focused on bringing in art to all of our properties and our developments. I mean, you'll see Shepard Ferry's biggest mural to date on One Campus Martius and How Nazem's mural right next to it, and you can see it from Comerica Park. Madison has a huge mural, 10,000 square foot mural. Um, so we're really focused on how art brings an experience and creates social conversation around mm -hmm. what people like and not like. And one of the things we've really focused on 
was building uh, a parking structure but filling it with artwork and then also building an alley in between the the two structures and we built this alley out of nothing there was never there was never anything there um, so we put down cobblestone it looks like it's been there for a long time and then we filled it with artwork and really curated yeah. with library street collective um, and we called it the belt and so the belt is filled with permanent murals and then we also have this rotating um, exhibit that happens every quarter where we bring in a new artist and we have these big panels that are put everywhere that we hire oh really and we do a big huge party um, or last 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 one we did um, we did with um, not fail. I'll remember the name in a second. But okay. last party we did, we had ten thousand people in the alley wow. because we had Lupe Fiasco <laughs> performing, and it was about this art and culture, and it was just incredible. And then there's Library Street Collective's art gallery is in yeah. the alley as well. Love so, the gallery. And here is uh, your office, your new office. Here it is. Door to door service. I feel so lucky. <laughs> well, again, thanks so much. You know, for giving me your time and letting me drive you around town. Thank you. Have a great Thanks rest of your afternoon. I really enjoyed my uh, afternoon with Dan Mullen. He is quite insightful and definitely knows all the cool spots in the city. And there are so many more that, you know, he shared that we couldn't, we couldn't actually go to today. I will see you all next time for my next around town adventure.